Play Ball by Cynthia Platt. Cody loved nothing more than getting her friends together to play sports. There was always one problem. What sport should they play? How about baseball? she asked. But Peck had a hard time playing baseball. Or we could try volleyball, Cody told them. They played for a few minutes, but Rhea kept tripping over her own tail when she jumped to hit the ball. Can't we all just read together? Rhea asked. Hmm, Cody said. Mini golf seemed like the perfect idea. Cody, Alo, Rhea, Sandy, and Peck all set up a fun golf course. But when it came time to play, they noticed they didn't have golf clubs. Or golf balls. This isn't working, sighed Cody. In Australia, we like to play rugby, Sandy offered. She tried to explain the rules to everyone. Cody was up for anything. Alo was not. It sounds very rough, he said. Won't someone get hurt? Maybe, Sandy replied. But it's still a fun game. It wasn't easy to find a game that everybody could play together. Cody thought a little harder. Then Cody had an idea. There was a game that would work even for Peck's small legs. It wasn't too rough for Alo or too tail trippy for Rhea. I know, Cody said. Let's play kickball. Sounds good, Sandy and Rhea said at the same time. I like it, Alo replied. Let's play, let's play, Peck said, jumping up and down. Cody was glad he liked the idea too. Let's do it, Cody said. She smiled as she ran to get the kickball. When she got back, though, her smile faded. Her friends were arguing about who should be on which team. Since there were five of them, Cody wasn't sure how to divide them up evenly. We should play girls against boys, said Rhea. Alo scratched his chin with his trunk. Or we could all be on the same team, he said. Teams? Who needs teams? Peck said. Let's all just run around. Cody needed to do something fast. Peck ran in circles, counting the number of times he went around. This gave Cody an idea. What if we counted off, she said. Then the even numbers can be on one team, and the odd numbers can be on the other. But there are five of us, Sandy reminded her. That's true, Cody agreed, but I'm going to be the referee. After that, her friends counted off. One, said Peck. Two, said Rhea. Three, said Sandy. Four, said Olo. Peck and Sandy were on one team and Ray and Alo were on the other. Play ball, Cody called. Sure, she had won to play too, but she was so glad that her friends were finally cooperating. Plus, it was fun being the referee. And what a game it was. Everyone was good at kickball in their own way. Pet couldn't kick far, but he could run quickly. Alo moved slowly, but he could kick hard. Sandy was good at kicking and running. Rhea liked being in the outfield where it was quieter. And Cody? She was just happy that everyone was playing ball. Why? by Cynthia Platt Rhea had her nose in a book. What are you reading? asked Peck. A book about bugs, Rhea replied. She loved talking about reading. Why? asked Peck. Rhea thought about it. Bugs are very interesting, she told Peck. Why? They have six legs, Rhea replied. That's a lot of legs. Why? So that they can crawl up, down, and all around, Rhea said. She put her nose back in her book. Rhea wanted to read quietly. Peck wanted to keep talking. 
Why? he asked. So they can build homes, Rhea growled. And find things to eat. Peck thought that over. Why? he asked. Rhea liked talking about bugs. She really did. But Peck was not listening. So they can stay alive! Rhea snapped. She hoped she had finally answered all his questions. Why? Rhea sighed. She needed a plan. Would you like to pretend to be a bug? Rhea asked Peck. Yes! Peck replied. You would? she said. Rhea smiled. Why? Love You Too by Cynthia Platt Peck loved his friends and liked showing his love in different ways. So when Sandy forgot her snack, Peck offered to share his. I love grapes, Sandy said. Well, I love you, Peck said, and I love to share with you. Cody wanted to play soccer, but no one else wanted to. I'll play with you, Peck said. But you don't like soccer, Cody replied. I don't like soccer that much, but I do love you, Peck said, so I'm happy to give it a try. Peck found Rhea looking sad. What's wrong? he asked. I miss being at home today, Rhea said. Do you want to talk about it? Peck asked. Not right now, Rhea said, but it's very loving of you to offer. Olo finished some paintings, but couldn't reach the outside drying rope to hang it up. I can fly up and do it for you, Peck said. Thank you, Peck, Olo said. You're a very loving friend. Peck's friends wanted to do something nice for him, too. Surprise, they called. What's this for? Peck asked. It's for being a good friend, Rhea said, and because we all love you. I love you, too, he told them. His friends already knew that, but it was always nice to hear anyway. Stormy and Scary by Cynthia Platt Sandy was in her favorite place in the world, the music room, but it was a dark and stormy day, which Sandy did not like. She was scared of storms. Sandy jumped at the sound of thunder. Then she listened closer. The thunder sounds like my drums, she said. So Sandy played her drums until she couldn't hear the thunder anymore. The rain splattered hard against the window. Sandy shivered, but the rain sounded just like her rain stick. And rain sticks aren't so scary, she said. When the wind howled around the kids' club, Sandy didn't hide. Instead, she howled her favorite song with the wind. Ow! It was still a dark and stormy day, but Sandy didn't mind anymore, because it turned out storms could sound just like music, and music was one of her favorite things. What a Surprise by Cynthia Platt Peck flew into the kids club to get an afternoon snack. He was so surprised to see someone new there. Peck loved spending time with new friends. Hi, he said. Do you want to play blocks with me? The new friend didn't answer, but that was okay. Peck had other good ideas, like playing the matching game. Hmm, the new friend was good at matching, but not very chatty. Maybe she didn't want to be friends after all. 
Surprise, Sandy said. It's me. Peck was surprised, but also happy. He loved to spend time with old friends. So Disappointed by Cynthia Platt Cody could hear the ice cream truck coming. She put away all of her toys to get ready. The sun was hot and Cody was hungry. She couldn't wait for the ice cream truck to come. But the truck never came. Cody felt disappointed. Olo gave Cody a glass of water and asked, What's wrong? I'm disappointed that the ice cream truck never came. Would you like to make a fruit salad instead? Olo asked. Yes, Cody said. It was hard to feel disappointed with Olo and tasty fruit around. Cool Beans by Cynthia Platt Do you want to play? Sandy asked. That happened to be Cody's favorite question in the whole wide world. Yes, she replied. Cody and Sandy were good friends, but sometimes it was hard for them to find something they both liked to play. Sandy tried to think of something they'd both enjoy. Do you want to use the hula hoops? Sandy asked. Cody thought about it. Maybe there was a way to create a game using the hula hoops. Cool beans, she told Sandy. What are the rules? There are no rules, Sandy replied. You just put it around your belly and shake yourself all around. It turned out that Sandy was very good at wiggling herself in just the right way to make the hoop spin. Cody was not. Maybe we should play something else, Cody said. Sandy was disappointed, but she wanted to find something they both enjoyed doing. Cody loved collecting things. We could go looking for flowers, Sandy suggested. Cody loved that idea. Cool beans, she said. We could pick them and plant them in a pot. Or we could press them in a book and save them forever, Sandy replied. But then they'll be dead, Cody said. I want to see them when they're alive. This playdate was not going so well. Cody slumped up against the tree to think. Sandy ran her hands through the sand to cool down the big feeling she was having. Neither of them could figure out what to do. Sandy knew that Cody loved games, and there was a great game just inside the playhouse. She just hoped Cody liked to play it too. We could play matching, Sandy said. Cody's slump was over. She jumped up with a skip in her step. I love matching! Inside the playhouse, they spread the cards out on a table. You can go first, Cody said. No, you can, Sandy replied. They looked at each other and smiled. Okay, I'll go first, Cody said. She lifted two cards and found an apple and a blue cupcake. They did not match. Sandy got cherries and a bright yellow pineapple. They didn't match either. But they did give Sandy a great idea. What if we played a different way, she said, and match cards by colors instead of by picture. But that's not how you play the game, Cody said. There are rules. We can make new rules, Sandy told her, and find different patterns to match. Or we could just play with the normal rules, Sandy said in a quiet voice. Cody looked down at the cards. There were no matches, but Cody thought about it and realized the red cherries would match the red apple that Sandy had turned over before. New rules can be good rules too, Cody said. She turned all the cards back over, then chose the apple and the cherries. Cody smiled. Cool beans! Cool beans, Sandy agreed. 
Cody and Sandy were good friends, and they loved to play together.